Well, hello everybody. Today we're going to have a look at how our solar system and how big it really is. Now we often see all these great big models of the solar system and the sun and it's all stacked up nice and neatly side by side. But one of the things that this misses is the actual scale of how far apart everything is. Now I'm standing here today on this lovely rock in Wusang Green here. Remember a great big rock? And that's a nice little point to work from. But of course our sun isn't going to be as big as this rock. Indeed, for this to work, our sun is going to be big as this orange right here. So we'll pop that orange down onto the rock, like this, and we'll jump down and see if we start our adventure. First planet Mercury, we don't actually have to go too far from this one. This is going to be 3.83 meters, which is about here from the sun. Now you might wonder how big is a planet? We can use a sun for an orange for a sun. But like if we had a little ball like this, would this represent Mercury? Turns out it's quite a bit smaller than this. If we were to use our scale, the actual diameter of Mercury is just about 0.33 millimeters. And you can see the tiny distance between the calipers there. This little ball is even too big for our real planet. So we're going to take that one as close enough. We'll stick it on our little pole here. But it is just this tiny, infinitesimal grain of sand. After Mercury, the next planet is, of course, Venus. Now, Venus is 108 million kilometers from the Sun. Which in our model, if we look down, is going to be another one, two, three, and a bit, three and a half steps. Okay, we can stick that here. It is the hottest planet in our solar system. A really heavy, thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sulfuric gas. Because surface temperature is about 465 degrees Celsius. This is not a nice place to be. Now we have managed to investigate it, but our spacecraft will only last it for several hours at a time. Now Venus is a little bit bigger than Mercury, and we can actually expand this here using our scale. It is a vast 0.81 millimeters. Let's see, can we get a little bit closer to that? There we are. Pretty, oh, look at that, bang on. Now 0.81, well it's a lot smaller than that. We need an absolutely teeny tiny little ball. So that's a bit too big, but it's close enough. And we'll stick this up on our pole, right there, to represent the size of Venus. Now, of course, the third little rock from the sun is one we know well. It's our good old friend, the planet Earth. Now, this is another three steps, one, two, three, and this should bring us 10 meters out from our fabulous rock. And that's our scale. Okay, and actually, our whole this thing here is scale so that the distance from the Earth to the sun is one astronomical unit, is 10 meters. So we can see that these are our first three planets. They're beginning to make a bit of sense so far. Now remember Venus was um, 0.81 millimeters. Earth is actually almost the same size. If we were scale at 0.86, okay, is what this comes out to. So Venus and Earth are often referred to as twins. But of course, Venus is a fiery hellhole and Earth is quite a nice place most of the time. So there is our little blue dot. We'll stick this up on our pole, just there. Now Mars is one we hear a bit more about in the news these days, of Perseverance having just landed. So let's have a look at where Mars might be. Well, we're going to have to go another one, two, three, four, five metres away. So it is a little bit of a journey from Earth compared. It's uh, quite a bit smaller than the Earth. So if we were to try and model that, well, its diameter would be just about half a millimetre, 0.46. So again, a tiny little grain of sand. And we're going to try and model with our tiny plasticine. You can see this is really tiny. There we go, that'll be about as close as we're going to get. And we are going to see, we stick that a little tiny dot up here, representing Mars. Now we of course have four more planets. These are our gas giants. And these ones are a little bit further out than the four terrestrial planets, those four rocky ones we just looked at there. So we're going to have to keep walking here. Indeed, we're going to walk another 28 steps, I believe. So we can get to a point where we're 52 meters away from our sun for our next planet, Jupiter. This path that we're crossing quite conveniently represents the main asteroid belt in our solar system between Mars and Jupiter. There's over a million asteroids here, ranging from ones that are hard to see to ones that are over 500 kilometers in diameter. Well, here we are, just, uh, just having crossed the path. We're now 52 meters, or in our, scale, our real model, 780 million kilometers from the sun, sitting up on the rock there. And we've gone far enough out to meet Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system, by quite a long shot. Indeed, it's bigger than t all of the other planets in our solar system put together. Okay, twice as big. And that makes it, on our model, a grand size of nine millimeters. So we can even see it here. Kind of fascinating. So we'll pop that 
pop that up on our little dot there and there we can see it sitting all the way with the rest of our planets further from the sun. Jupiter is a gas giant. It's really just got these clouds of kind of really coal gas, ammonia and hydrogen and helium whipping around as big storms. And indeed the big giant red dot is a storm bigger than the planet Earth that's been raging for centuries. Now to get out to our next planet, Saturn, this is going to be a bit of a trek, okay? Now Saturn is a whole lot further away. It's nearly 1.4 billion kilometers from the Sun. So I'm going to have to keep walking here for a little bit of a while until I get approximately 96 meters on our scale away from the Sun. And we're at Saturn. So we can stick Saturn down into the ground. Now Saturn is, of course, the one with a giant collection of icy rings. Spectacular. It's a huge big gas giant. Um, not a very hospitable place. We're not entirely sure what's down there. We think there might be an, a solid core. Um, but even though we're this far away from the Sun and this far away from where we are, we have actually managed to get a spacecraft out this far. Indeed, in 2017, we crashed Cassini into Saturn to learn a little bit about it along the way. Now, Saturn, like Jupiter, is actually quite a big planet. It's one of those gas giants. And in our scale, Saturn can be represented by a little ball about 8 millimeters in diameter. So we can take that little ball, pop it up on the top here, like Jupiter, and now we can see this planet to scale. To get out to our next planet, Uranus, we've got to go quite a bit further, a full 2.8 billion kilometers from the Sun, or in our model, 192 meters. Now, Uranus is a medium-sized planet, um, quite a bit smaller, so it's still kind of a gas, frozen, icy giant, but it's a lot smaller than Jupiter and Saturn. However, it is still quite a bit bigger than Earth, about 51,000 um, kilometers in diameter. So if we were to scale this, we can get this at 3.43 millimeters. So we can pop this little chappy up here. There we are. Cold little icy world sitting there looking all the way back at our sun. Now there's one more big planet to go and that is of course Neptune. Another ice giant, a dark cold world whipped with supersonic storms and winds of icy clouds of methane and ammonia of a possibly a small rocky core. Now we've gotten out there once, we sent a Voyager 2 out there. But um, it's a long, long way away. We're going to have to move four and a half billion kilometers away from our sun, or on our little scale, about 300 meters. Here we are at Neptune. Now, Neptune is um, still pretty big as planets go. Um, it was, in our scale, it's going to be three, just over three millimeters. So we have a little ball here, and we'll place it up on the top to see Neptune. Here we are on the outer reaches of our solar system. Looking all the way back there in the distance, we can see the sun. At this point, a tiny little dim spot of light. And again, I hope this gives you an idea of how big the solar system we live in is, and what a small little rock beside the sun we live on.